in October. Hallelujah. He's setting up an open door for us in October. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And today the Lord is speaking about is saying, don't miss God opportunity. Cast your next. Hallelujah. Say it out of me. Don't miss. Hallelujah. Don't miss. Amen. Don't watch. God wants opportunity. Cast. Cast your next. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Many people miss God opportunity. Many people. Many people. They miss God's opportunity. Hallelujah. And the Lord has been laying heavily on me. Heavily. You know, you know, heavily on me about God's opportunities that God has opened before us. And then when I found myself asking God, Lord, help me not to miss. Help me not to miss my opportunity. And the opportunity God has laid for me. Amen. Amen. There are some things in life yeah, where you miss them, you are missing them forever. That's the problem. There are some things you can get. But there are some things when you miss them, you miss them forever. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And it's very sad eh, when you miss the opportunity of God in your life. Hallelujah. When you miss the opportunity of God in your life. Amen. One time, Jesus Christ was going to Jerusalem and he was, he was crying. He was crying. And the, the word came out and he said, he wishes if the people of Jerusalem knew the time of their visitation. Why was Jesus crying? It's because these people are missing a life opportunity of God. And that's why for morning, when he was speaking here and the prayer and Reverend Miriam, and they were speaking about running. Why were we running? Well, it is not, we were not doing exercise here, not because we are doing gym. We are not doing the chat, we are gym. Hallelujah. But there are things which you must run for. Because if you don't run, you miss. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. If you don't run, then you miss the opportunity of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Revelation 12 days that we read. Read again. Says, I know your works. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The beginning there, I know your works. See, work is never hustling. We go again and ask people are talking about hustling your work. I know your work. I know how much you have been struggling to make it. I know your works. I know your efforts. I know your hard work. I know what you have been done before. I know you have attempted. Eh? And the Lord said, but see. Eh? The word is see. I like that word see. Hallelujah. See. You know, that word came very strongly. See. Hallelujah. See. Amen. I know your work. That is fast. Hallelujah. Praise.
praise the name of Jesus. The labor of 20 years, 40 years, laboring the work. Hallelujah. But the Lord is saying now, see, I have set before you an open door. See, hallelujah. Amen. In another Bible says, behold. This one says, see, hallelujah. Hallelujah. See. For you to be able to not, not, to, not to miss, you must see. Hallelujah. If you don't see, then you miss. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. If you don't see the opportunity, you miss it. If you don't see what God is about to do, you miss it. Hallelujah. And I say, Lord, help me and help us to see. Because if you don't see, hallelujah. Amen. Are there people in the house? Are there people who are blessed? Are there people who are sick here? Glory to God. Amen. There are people in their lives, they only see defeat. Yeah. They only see what the devil is doing. Hallelujah. But they don't see what God is doing. I pray today by the grace of God that the Lord will open my eyes to see. Hallelujah. Because I know the devil is doing his work. And we are not in his business. But God is also doing a work. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. God is doing a, a work as well. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, when the devil shall come to us like a flood. Amen. Amen. God shall do what? Raise a standard. Hallelujah. God is raising a standard of worship that has never been there. God is raising a young people that has never been there. God is raising a work that has never been there. Amen. 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 Hey, hey. See, God said, people are talking about lockdown. And this trend when we are speaking about open door in the time of lockdown. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, see, I have set an open door, an open door, and no one can shut can shut it. For you have a little strength. Say hallelujah. For you have a little strength there. That is why it is not by mighty, not by power, because your strength is little. Yes, your qualification is little. Your ability is little. Your knowledge is little. But the Lord says, I am setting an open door for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I have been reading this Bible for very many years. Very many years this Bible. And uh, one of the interesting things, God seems to work with people of little strength. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He has sent the fool away. Then I have a tumor, I have a Meshiva. He has sent them away. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who feel they are capable, He has sent them away. Hallelujah. Amen. Then He says, Out of the mouth of the babes. Manifested 
in our weaknesses. Bible says, let the weak say what? I'm strong. God comes to us at our point of weakness. When we have ended our strength. That's why the king said to them, I know you have little strength. But that's not an issue. Amen? Amen. We are not going by our little strength. We are going by his might. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. But you have kept my word. And you are not denied my name. Praise God. Amen. Faith will usher us in the open door. Amen. Amen. There's a scripture which I want us to read in the book of Luke, chapter 5. A very interesting story, I think. Hallelujah. We have talked about it another day. The one who has to go back there. Luke, chapter 5. They don't miss, don't miss God's opportunity. You can miss the opportunity, but don't miss God's opportunity. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Amen. When God speaks, you better listen. Many people, they don't listen what God is saying. Many people think the word of God is a story. Amen. This week, this week, just this week, this week, when I spoke about the open door, there are people already, their doors open this week, just this week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we don't, don't miss God's opportunity, don't. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Luke 5, verses. One. And it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gensaret and saw two fish, uh, two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and they were washing their nets. Thank you, Jesus. And they saw, and, and, and he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's. And they prayed him that he would trust it a little from the land. And he sat down and took the people out of the ship. Now, when he had stopped speaking, he said to Peter, to Simon, launch out into the deep and cast your nets for a drought. And Simon answered and said to him, Master, we are toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at the word, I will let, I will cast the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great multitude of fishes, and their net broke. And they went unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled all the ships so that they began to sink. In verse 8. And when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, for he wondered at all that were with and all that were with him, at the multitude of fish they had taken. 
Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of His word. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I say don't miss God's opportunity. I say don't miss God's opportunity. Hallelujah. Here we have a man, a professional fisherman. His name is Simon Peter. The Bible says Peter was a fisherman. Not only was a, a fisherman, but his father was also a fisherman. Hallelujah. And he was not a small type of fisherman. He was a commercial fisherman. Hallelujah. Because you know, he had a sheep. How many people have sheep here? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Peter was a professional fisherman. He had understood fishing. He knew the profession. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, at one time, they spent the whole night fishing. The whole night fishing. And the Bible says, when Jesus found them, they were the flash of washing their nets. Hallelujah. What does it mean, washing their nets? It means they were going home. They had given up. It's a ritual place now. The fish had refused to obey them. And now they were going home. Frustrated the whole night fishing. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I have set an open door for you. I have set an open door for you, Peter. When, when Jesus was asking for the sheep of Peter, Peter never knew what God or Jesus has in mind. Hallelujah. But Jesus had a plan. And the Bible says, wherever he went, he did good. He is the door. He has come to give us an opportunity of life. Peter was looking for fish all the days of his life. Peter was, was, was looking for fish. Every time you catch two, you catch three, you go home. But let me tell you, there was an opportunity of God that came. And let me tell you, Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. January, the Lord. Hey, the February, March. Amen. Amen. The Lord has been using this, this sheep here to preach. Isn't it? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 From January, how many people have the Lord been using their sheep? He has been using it from January, isn't it? And now the Lord is saying, Hallelujah! An opportunity has come. God is not gracious to forget us. God is not gracious to forget Vika. Hallelujah! He uses it is a trick to preach. But he is not unrighteous. He, he, he knew that if Peter was there looking for, for fish. And the Bible says, after not too little time, after he finished Peter, Peter, this opportunity you have been waiting for a lifetime has come. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. An opportunity for lifetime. Amen? Amen. When God wants to bless you, He blesses you until. Amen? Amen. Until. There is no place to put the blessing. Amen? Amen? The Bible says, Jesus told Peter, now, 
Amen. Now cast your net down. Now cast your net. The Lord told me that the opportunity is there, but our job is to do what? To do what? Then you may not cast your net. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they pay the bill. 
se mene po imu. Ja bi bojde i ovdje ide, teo samo ne leta s njih čita, čeka ne leta s njih. Aleluja! Even at your 
theological problem because they are they know God as God said I mean, what is sacrifices of human being? It was a problem. It disguised itself as a problem. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We are surrounded by so many opportunities. To offer, we perceive them as obstacles. Hallelujah. We look at them as problems, as obstacles. Having no money, we look at having no money as an obstacle. Hallelujah. We don't look at it as an opportunity for God to show himself. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The fact that you have no money, it is an opportunity for God to bless you. The fact that you are sick is an opportunity for God to heal you. Amen. 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 More power. Eh? Little strength, little knowledge, little education. These are God's opportunities in disguise. Don't miss an opportunity because it is dressed up in a costume or a problem. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, this woman, the widow. Amen. An opportunity of life. That this woman had a great God. He died for I don't know. Me from my son. How shall we live with this thing? This thing is terrible. Hallelujah. But now, when the, when the opportunity of God for a blessing came, it came as a problem. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Very big problem. Now that the man is coming here. Who she doesn't even know his name, isn't it? And the man is saying, go and make food for me first. And the only food is remaining, which was for the final, the final food. <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus. It was in disguise, it was an opportunity which was disguising itself as a problem. Why we miss them? Why we miss opportunities of God? Because opportunities of God looks like a problem. Amen. Problem, my friend. Coming in a church like this, leading worship every Sunday, it looks like a problem. Amen. Worshiping, playing guitar, what, doing everything, it looks like a new problem. Hey, my record in the whole life, it looks like a problem. But I say, don't miss, don't miss the opportunity of God to bless you. Cast your net. Praise the name of Jesus. When the woman recognized and she took this as an opportunity, she did not be standing. She would have told that man, hey, well, I'm busy and 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 I'm busy Sometimes we begin projects here in the church where Bishop said we need money. They look like problems. It looks like a new problem. But I say it's an opportunity. Don't miss an opportunity of God. Hallelujah. The second thing is opportunities are often time sensitive. Mm. Opportunities are what? Time sensitive. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. If you don't, if you fail to seize an opportunity God has put before you, it is necessary. It doesn't necessarily mean God is finished with you. In other words, if you don't seize an opportunity that is just before you, you lose it. And it is given to someone else. Hello, that's a problem. That's why when you hear people being told, it is time for healing. Amen. It's an open door. There are some time when God opens just five minutes for healing. Five minutes like that. Five, five minutes. Five. And if you don't take, you don't walk in that open door quickly. Hallelujah. The door is shut. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Opportunities are often time sensitive. Hallelujah. There's a job in the World Bank. Amen. And it closes on Friday, on Thursday at 2. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then you want to apply on Friday morning. You have missed it. You are you could be the most qualified person, but you missed it. Hallelujah. That's why running is part of it. Running. That's why many people miss it because of speed. Some people they are so slow in waking up. Amen. Amen. By the time they wake up, they wash their faces. Amen. They let the brush opportunity to be. Hallelujah. There are some times when we get an assembly to the end of the year, back up when we take a good year, but we go there to what? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. There are times when urgency is going to save you. Urgency.
praying the name of Jesus. I don't have much time. That, but we opportunities are often tested by opposition. Hallelujah. Opportunities always tested by what? Opposition. Some people have gotten halfway through an open door. And when I think I go to an open door, but they come back. The open door was open, but they only reached half. Hallelujah. Amen. And turned around when they were they encountered opposition. We must not, we must not have had that they say we never have God correctly. This opposition cannot be from God. Look at what Paul says. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 16, 8. He says the Lord has given us open doors, but there are many what? And bastards. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't miss a blessing dude. Blessing. Amen. By trying to have a problem with free Christian life. Amen. Hallelujah. Number four. Opportunities are usually missed because of fear. Okay? Fear. Hallelujah. All opportunities and open doors have one thing in common. They focus on the future. And when we are looking towards the future, we have, we have got two choices. To walk by faith or walk by fear. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Whether we walk by faith or walk by fear. Mama spoke about it in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Young people have been. Joshua and the other guys, they want an opportunity. Look at an opportunity to enter what? Come. An opportunity is there. Hallelujah. But what they see? They saw giants. Do you remember what I said? You see? They saw what? What do you see? Do you see an opportunity or you see giants? Hallelujah. And they also saw themselves as grasshoppers. Hallelujah. How many grasshoppers do you have in the church today? No? Say you are here, my grasshopper. You are not even a sick hopper, you are a grasshopper. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray in the name of Jesus. You look at yourself as a grasshopper. God has said, I have opened, I have given you the land, I have given you the opportunity, I have opened. These people you are seeing, I have given you, I have given you the land. But because as nothing, as defeated, as not able. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Bible says, God, the one who called us, is greater than the one in the world. The Bible says, and he that is in you is greater than he.
Oh God. Amen. Opportunities of God. Amen. Amen. Chapter 4. Let us therefore fear. Least a promise being left to us of entering into his opportunity. And the word rest there is an opportunity. Rest is an opportunity. We are born one up to usher us into our rest, into his blessings, into his fulfillment. Let us fear. Let the promise, because God has given us the promise already. Okay? And all of you should see come short of it. Hallelujah. Come short of it. Hallelujah. Amen. For unto us the gospel was preached. As well as unto them that we have heard about the open door, just like they have heard. All of us have heard. But the word which did not profit. No be peace with the faith in them that had it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I will get it. I will get it. For us, for we which believe to end the rest, as he said, for we who believe end the rest. I say today, the gospel was preached to them just like it was preached to us. But to all of them, they never, they never entered into the opportunity. The Bible says there are many people who are, who are at leprosy in the time of Naaman. But it was only one who was in There were many men. Amen. There were many, there were many people. Hallelujah. Who in the issues of blood in the time of Jesus. But it was this woman who decided I must rest, I must embrace the coming of Jesus. I have an opportunity. You can miss an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> 
to cut to, to grasp the opportunity. Why? Why are my children? Why are my children allowing the opportunities to be taken by drunkards, by people, devil worshippers? Why are my children allowing these opportunities to be taken by others? Why? 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 The Holy Spirit is crying and asking us, why are we allowing? Why are we allowing the worshippers of idol to continue taking these opportunities when we can take them in God? Why? Why? Father, we come before you. We hear the cry of the Holy Spirit. And we pray that Lord your Lord, we will not allow this to continue again. That we can come and grasp those opportunities you have created. We bless you in the name of God. Bless our giving today. Bless our tithes and offering. Cause us to walk in, 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 in abundance. Lord, I speak the blessing of abundance in this place. I speak abundance. I speak abundance of spiritual blessing, physical blessing, financial blessing, and every blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen.